What is this even called anyways? Roasted garlic and onion meat loaves with mashed potatoes and roasted broccoli. Okay, I mean that sounds kind of good. Yeah. Alright. Do we really need to wash and dry the produce? No, not really. Okay. Uh, dice the potatoes into half inch pieces and then you put it into a medium pot with enough salted water to cover by two inches. What? Yep. That's weird. You don't know how to make potatoes? By, by putting salt in it like that? Yes. We don't make potatoes, babe. We get the... I when, would have figured at some point as a kid you would have, but I guess not. I didn't grow up the same way you did. I guess not. not. Go sit down and eat your damn food. Oh, Alright. What? What? Alright, let me get the broccoli. Potatoes in medium pots. Yeah, no, unlike you, Bev, I didn't grow up the same way. We didn't get the chance to actually cook. We did because it was cheaper than buying pre-made food. So, like, instant potatoes? Nah, my old man wasn't going to do it because you could buy a 10 pound bag of potatoes for like, I don't know, a buck. Really? Yeah. Damn. Okay. That is a lot cheaper. And you can do a lot more with a bag of potatoes than you can with instant potatoes. Okay, besides this, what else can you do with them? Okay, so you can dice them all up, mm -hmm. boil them down and mash them. Right. You can... Which is what we're doing today. Dice them up and fry them or bake them like we did last time. You can also bake them as full potatoes. Mm -hmm. You can shred them and make hash browns out of them. You like, can make, you, wait, you can make hash browns out of actual potatoes. How do you think they're made? Everything we need in a factory, they have stuff that we don't have usually. No, what they use is, well. They have one of these basically, right? It's like a giant one of these. Oh, you okay. Run the potato, down that, comes out in shreds, mm -hmm. and you make hash browns. You use something like that one there, you make fries. Hmm. Well, don't you have to have like, what do you call it? Um, deep fryer? In order to make fries. No. Cast iron is guilt, full oil. Really? I thought that's why you I thought that's why you wanted a a deep fryer to make fries. Deep fryer's a lot easier, cleaner. Oh, okay. Possibly a little safer. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so the potatoes in. Yep, you gotta potato them into a medium pot with enough salted water. Shirt. Bring in to boil until tender. 
So it says about 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, and don't forget to do what I didn't do last time and reserve one cup of water. What, from this? Yes. Okay. It says that because when I made the spaghetti stuff, I didn't reserve one cup of water and I had to use a whole new one and it took longer to cook because it was cold. Why did you have to cook the water? Pasta! No, I mean, like, why, what was the purpose of reserving a cup of water? Okay, when I and made... why did you have to do another one? Well, because it says, um, the pasta here, it said reserve, uh, well, it says reserve three-fourths cup of water. Okay. And then you're supposed to put that into the sauce. Okay. So you add the res you add the reserve uh, pasta water, the pasta, the tomato paste, the stock, all of that kind of stuff in order to make the sauce. I didn't do the reserve water, so I had to get new water, and it took longer to cook because it was it was cold. It wasn't already warm and heat. Where's the lid for that? Is it this one? Right here. Damn it. So yeah, that's that's. <laughs> so those are on now. Yes. What? Oops, right here. All right. While cooking, cut broccoli into bite-sized pieces, if necessary, roughly, and then chop the parsley. Oh, you already got it. Huh. What? Never mind that idea. I was gonna say you want scissors. Nope. Damn it. Five second roll. There you go. We're good. What? So you don't want stems? Some stems are alright, but not not down there now. It's not edible, is it? Not really. Real stringy, chewy. Can you eat broccoli by itself, like just as is? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Not bad. Very tasty. Very planty. Kind of tastes nasty, actually. I think it would taste better with like ranch or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, while well, that's doing that. All right. In a large bowl, I'm gonna get the panko and hamburger going. those. Yep, and then chop parsley. How the fuck are you supposed to chop parsley? Well, you can't do that. You can't do this. Right. Toss broccoli on a baking sheet with a large drizzle of oil, seasoned in salt and pepper, and then roast in the middle rack until tender. Oh, thank you. Bedtime chow. Okay, put, put your bowl in the sink, please. Put the bowl in the sink. Yes, I am. Excuse me, Dad. Yep, thank you. Thank you. Okay, can I go?
sharp in this. This knife sucks. Yes, it looks really difficult to cut. Yeah, I think that's why most people just use, you know, regular parsley out of a, you know, dried parsley out of a can. It's easier. Maybe that could be a good suggestion, suggestion to HelloFresh and just send already chopped parsley instead of... It kind of does away with the idea of fresh at that point. <laughs> you can still have uh, fresh chopped parsley already. That, that, that is a possibility. Well, and other people probably have knives that are actually, you know, sharp. Dude, your nails look disgusting. <laughs> that is... Uh, toner. What? The red stuff I was oh. using on that wood. Yeah. It's called toner. It's not really a stain. It's not really a paint. It's kind of like a dye, but not really that either. Hmm. I mean, I was using it as a stain, which it's only kind of effective that way. Right. Um. Uh, It's supposed to be what you do is you actually like seal the wood. Mm -hmm. So like I should have put down a uh, some sort of clear coat. All right, that's boiling. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so what am I doing with this? It doesn't say it. That's all it says. It says toss bro broccoli on the baking sheet with the large dose of oil, salt and pepper, roast in the middle rack until tender. Oh wait, half the parsley goes in with the panko that I'm going to be making in a second. Okay. Then the remaining parsley just goes on top of the potatoes. Okay. At the end. So I'm going to start making the panko meatloaves. Did you get salt? And then. Try a little more oil on this. Pepper. I kind of wish I had like spray oil, but we don't. I will get some tomorrow instead then. Would that be easier for your future cooking? Yeah, it's easier to coat the pan, but it's also easier for stuff like this. Okay. Like really, this should have been dumped into a bowl uh -huh. with oil. Right. Um, well, then I will go down. Tossed in the bowl with the salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Well, then, like I said, I will go down tomorrow and go get some regular oil that spray on instead of that because if that makes it easier then we'll do that instead well it's either that or like i need to stop following their instructions well then what's the point of doing these recipes it's supposed to be you doing them so you learn to cook it's okay so this goes in for how long 50 to 20 minutes I don't trust our oven, so I'm putting it on the top rack. Okay. No, be cooking easier. Not so that it just makes it freaking easier so we don't have to come up with any kind of recipe and have to go to the damn store. Half the garlic. Okay. 
I wonder if it, what if it says half the garlic, does it mean one of these? Or like literally half of it? I'm just, I'm just gonna do one good one one of these then, because I'm just gonna guess. Read the rest of the instructions, see what it says to do with the rest of it. Yeah, that might be it. Alright, let's take a look. Okay, so the, for the rest of the, the glazing is where the rest of the, um, the roasted garlic and onion comes in. Okay. So you're supposed to microwave one tablespoon of butter in a microwave safe bowl, and then you stir in the, gar uh, stir in the garlic and onion spread here and ketchup, and it makes the, um, It makes the topping for the, the meatloaf. And it doesn't say exactly, it just says half of it. Which says there's two, I would guess there's one whole container for one. One each, so I'm gonna go with it. Ew, looks nasty. Oh wait, half the parsley. So Is that much? Sure. Okay. And then of course salt and pepper. It's a good thing we washed our hands before we did this. Note to self, take off ring before you do this next time. Mm -hmm. Bacon sheet, babe. What? Another bacon sheet. I gotta half this and put this into into loaves. your loaf in a, in a specific shape. No. <laughs> do you at least want it flatter though? Or, do you want, or, or is that not like this? 
How long does it say to put them in for? Alright, loaves go into the oven for about 16 minutes. Might want them a little bit flatter, not by much though. Okay. Trying to make sure all the parsley stays on them too. The pink is what's supposed to keep it together, right? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. How's that then? Yes, you're right. Okay. Ugh. I'm going to put this aside behind you while I make the, um, mixture. Well, it says microwave safe bowl, but you know what, I'm going to say small bowl. I'm not going to do a small bowl, I'm just going to use this. Make it easier. I don't want to make another dish. Alright. One tablespoon of butter. One tablespoon of one spoonful, right? Yeah, you got measuring spoons. Yeah, true. You just bought a whole bunch of them. Yeah, I know we did. goes in the microwave for 60 seconds. Probably in like 30 actually. Probably not do that, huh? No, like 10 and then pull it out and give it a second and then 10 and pull it out and give it a second. Okay. Otherwise you'll burn the butter. Oh, okay. I didn't know you could burn butter. Yep. Well that's really good to know then. How you make butter scotch? Sugar and burnt butter in a frying pan. Really? Yes. Damn, okay. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> All right, 10 more seconds. I think it's done by now. No, maybe like five more seconds. Yep, that's good. Okay. Butter is melted. All right, what else? Mini. What's wrong? You can buy a different knife sharpener. I can't sharpen the kitchen knife. I've done that thing. Angles aren't right. Put 
don't need you with those. Oh, I'm say. Remaining garlic. Oh, yep, that's ketchup. Which is what? Cats in the down. Show. What? Hi. The hell are you doing there? That's Figuro. I was expecting it to be Mushi, but no, that's Figuro. Okay, so just stir it in. Oop, I gotta catch this. Okay, what's it say to do with the potatoes aside from mashing? All right, so you add the sour cream in and one tablespoon of butter to the pot with the potatoes. Hold on. Before you mash them? Or while mashing them? While mashing. Okay, so get on it. Okay, we'll do it for a minute. And then... We have two things of sour cream? What's it say? It says add two... add to sour cream. Doesn't you see half, it just adds sour cream. Okay, I need to run both of them. You really can use that for more than just uh, baking. That is awesome. I didn't know you could do that. Mm -hmm. You want to screw the, uh, the pre-made potatoes now. We'll just do it this way from now on. Mm -hmm. There you go. You're good. Here, look at clean. What? Go it's ahead. not. It's not cake battery. <laughs> no, you only do it with with cake and cookie mix and crap like that. You don't. What? My spoon didn't. Not fully. Just push the button, eject it. Just not try not to strain away with it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, 
So once okay. the, so, so once the meatloaves have roasted 16 minutes, remove the sheet from the oven, and then you spoon these onto the meatloaves. Yeah, well, we didn't really pay attention when we put the uh, broccoli in, so I just have to check that now. Watch, it might be a little overdone, and their idea of baking it is retarded. Why? Look at it. It's all brown and wilted now. It's not what you do with broccoli. What are you supposed to do with them? Just cook them? Fry it or steam it? Maybe it's our that oven. way it doesn't do that. Is it, is it possible it might be just our oven? Part of it is our oven, yes. But this was on the top rack. And I don't know how long it was in there. It's not like overly wilted or anything. It's just the side that wasn't down, crispified. Hmm. So yes, part of that is our oven. Yeah, our oven kind of sucks. But also, like, really, do, why are you putting broccoli in an oven? I don't know. I thought you did. No. Okay, so now we got to put these in. Yes. How Six, long? 16 minutes. There we go. Okay. Now I see, I automatically thought that you can put that into the. the I've the, never the, heard of putting broccoli into an oven. Before. I've never really made broccoli, so I kind of figured you could. Anything, anything of it. Typically, it's either steam or fried. That's all I've ever heard of them being done. Like, that would have been better if I just thrown it in the, the wash and surf out it real quick. Well, potatoes are good. Yeah. And then the uh, uh, the meatloaf would be good. See. My meat, the meatloaf I made last time was good. Yeah, the stuff I tasted last night, no, it wasn't. That was bland. That is not how meatloaf is supposed to taste. Maybe you're an overly strong critic. <laughs> well, I think it's just some of the recipes really aren't very good. I mean, that maybe that is the case too. I mean, I really liked. Well, let's see. You've had how many of the recipes? The first one that we did was good. Which one, which one was that again? Planko chicken. Oh, I love the Planko chicken. That actually came out pretty pretty good. Yeah, that one actually pretty good. I mean, I granted, I would have done a little differently with potatoes. The Gouda Burger thing, that wasn't bad. Okay, so we didn't, we didn't do that one. We did the spaghetti. Did you have that? How'd you like that? It, I liked it. It was all right. It wasn't anything the bread, spectacular. The bread... I mean, yeah, it was nothing spectacular, the bread was but fucking terrible. But that's we didn't get to that one. Scott's fault. No, that was. We didn't. Oh do no, those. we didn't do that. We one didn't yet. do that one. I did this one, and I liked it. I mean, yeah, the the meatloaf could have been a little more seasoned, but it didn't come out that bad. Yeah, it was just really bland. I did exactly what the other recipe said. What does it say to do with that stuff? Okay, so you do pork, half, half the panko pint. mixture, half the Tuscan heat spice, um, one tablespoon of water, salt, salt and pepper. Basically what I just did. Right, and it just really didn't have much flavor. Maybe I need to put more in of the Tuscan heat spice. Okay. I don't know. Today we're doing the roasted garlic and meal oven, so we'll see how that one turns out. Um, the goodbye burgers. That was actually all right. You like that one? Yeah. Okay. That wasn't bad. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get the chance to ask you before I went to work if you actually liked that or not. This one was. That was pretty this good. This one was really good, even even with the asparagus. Now we have coming up. We have the one pan beef stir fry tacos, which I'm hoping that. That actually turns out good for like a day. Like I still have to go to work. Probably. Um, I hope it's good. I really hope that one is good. 
Uh, we have the pork chops and the mushroom marinara. We haven't done that one. No, these are the new ones. Oh, okay. Uh, then we have the Italian chicken sausage noodle soup, which I don't know how that's going to turn out because it's, it's a soup, pasta kind of thing. Soup's not poop. I don't know. We'll see. Soup this one, I course. this one I got specifically for you: cheesy smashed burgers with big old fries, caramelized onions, and special sauce. So I have high hopes for this one. Hopefully, like, really high hopes for that one. That one better turn out good. Old Bay seasoning is kind of kind of spicy, but from what I from what I start, from what I heard about someone else who had it, it doesn't make it too spicy, so I can have it. So it's not ridiculously spicy, but spicy enough where you can actually taste it. Right. So I don't know. So far, some of these some of these recipes better start kicking it up. Okay, so far they're not they're not turning out as good as good as I was hoping they were going to. Oh wait, I need it open. Not to that one though. That one. Okay, but I need it on that side though. Simple enough. Did you want this one? No. Okay. Alright, and it takes two to three minutes until it's cooked thoroughly and the glaze is tacky. Yep. Other than that, that's it. You divide the meat loaves, you divide the mashed potatoes, roast of broccoli. Mm -hmm. And then you sprinkle on the everything parsley. with the with main parsley. That's it. There ain't a whole lot of that. Whatever. It's mainly for the potatoes. It doesn't really do anything flavor-wise. Well, then what's the point? It looks neat. Near as I can tell, that's the point of parsley. Cilantro actually has flavor. It's like a Mexican parsley. But parsley doesn't really have flavor. Look, it's it. Tastes like I'm eating grass. I wonder how this is, if this is how it tastes like to cow when they eat grass. Yeah, it's just eating grass. Yeah, like I said, parsley is mainly for looks. No. No. That's nasty. Yeah. All right. They actually look really good. Uh -huh. My potatoes are done. That is a bit of a disappointment. Guys, that is a little disappointment. But those look very promising. Uh-huh. All right, so we're going to let them cool for a little bit, and then we'll plate them. And try them out. That looks delicious.
Yeah. <laughs> Might have overcooked them a little bit. What? Either that or I overmixed them a little bit. I'm not sure which. Why do you say that? Because they're not quite as thick as they should be. Really? Yeah. I mean, I don't know, they stick all right, but... You see, you're, you're used to the, you know, instant potatoes. Yeah. Normally when you do mashed potatoes in a, a pan like that, they're, they're not. And voilà